Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name's Mary, and here on YouTube I like to share the many projects I have going on around here with you all. That can range from cooking, cleaning, gardening, decorating, painting, woodworking, and the list goes on. Um, just so much fun to try to inspire people. That's always my goal on here. I usually like to incorporate just a bit of a July 4th theme here into our living room during the summer months. So that's what I plan to do today. And as you can see, I still have my spring decorations up here on the mantle. And not that that wouldn't be fitting for, you know, the whole summer long, but you guys know me, I like to change things around. So uh, join me as I work in this space and enjoy. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that this fireplace mantle here is fake. Um, I just made it myself. There's no real fireplace in here. I just wanted a mantle to decorate. And if you're like me and you'd like, you know, something like this to decorate and you don't have an actual fireplace in your home, I do have a video that shows how I made mine. It isn't this exact one. This was years ago before I had my channel when I made this one, but I've made some since for other people. And I did make a video one time on one that I made. So I'll try to link that down below in the description box in case you wanna see how I went about to do it. It's really simple. Anyone can do it. It is definitely a fun place to decorate if you wanna add some charm into your room. The shiplap wall is also something I just did myself. I basically just cut strips of thin plywood and nailed it to the wall. I'm going to try to make a rag flag to hang on the wall above the mantle. And maybe some of you have heard of that or seen it on Pinterest or even made one yourself. I was to Zinc's fabric this morning and I found some pretty colors that I think are going to work. Here I'm just cutting it to the right size that I want my flag to be. And I think I'll soak it in coffee to get it just a little bit darker and vintage looking. Uh, kind of going for that look. And speaking of Zinx fabric, if you're ever in the area and you enjoy sewing and crafting, you probably want to stop in there. They have so many different kinds of fabrics, kind of something for everyone. And the con about that place is, of course, a lot of their fabrics, what they have out is all you can get, like it's an outlet store. So it's kind of hard for me sometimes if I'm shopping for something for the Etsy shop, I can't get more of it. So often I'll just take whatever they have and then I just have that limited amount to, to offer, I guess but definitely a place that is worth it to stop in. No one's home right now, so I could probably dump this coffee back in the pot. Pretty sure someone would drink it. I won't though. Zinx had this pretty linen fabric. This white one is one of them. And then I got some other colors. I gotta show you guys uh, just the color combination and the texture of the fabric, which maybe the camera won't pick that up, but I'm actually kind of obsessed with linens. And this was kind of unusual for them to have fabric like this. But of course they only have whatever's out. And in some of these colors, they only had a few yards left I plan to test these pieces for shrinkage, and if it's not too bad, I'm gonna go get the rest and then get Drusilla, my seamstress, to sew some pillow covers, maybe even some table runners. Um, There's just such pretty colors, I thought. I plan to use a wooden dowel to hang my flag, so of course I need little pockets on each strip of fabric to hang it. You could totally glue this, but I'm opting, since I have a sewing machine, I'm gonna sew it.
Initially, I thought for my 13 stripes, I would go with maybe two pieces of fabric per stripe. But later on, I actually decided to go with just one. It almost got too puffy for me. As I'm working on this flag, I guess I'm starting to feel kind of patriotic because I thought how pretty it would be to make a table runner out of this blue and white star fabric. And as I started cutting it, I began eyeing the other side, like the wrong side of the fabric, and I almost like that better, kind of a faded look. So I think I'm gonna use that for the, you know, the top side. And I'll go ahead and do a quick little tablescape of sorts on here. Uh, it won't be much. I just have an idea of something really simple that would look nice with this table runner. I will show you the steps I'm taking to make this one, but they will also be available on the Etsy shop. And if you want just the fabric, I will have the Zinx fabric link down below in the description box. Uh, they do have a website where you can order their fabric. Again, keeping things really simple with this tablescape, I'm just gonna clip off some flowers. I know these multiflower roses are considered a nuisance, but I love them. I love to smell them, I like to see them. So that's what I'm clipping off here. I feel like you really don't need much more than just a pretty table runner to create a simple yet attractive tablescape. I might have to get John to join me here for lunch today. So moving back to the mantle, I knew I wanted some sort of a sign, like a quote to be in the display, uh, maybe something by one of our founding fathers I thought would be really fitting for July 4th or even year round. Here I'm spray painting a wooden round and I plan to use our laser burner to put my design that I designed with Canva on. And these will be available on the Etsy shop in case you're looking for some like this. I love history and I'm always fascinated by, you know, some of these quotes that our founding fathers said uh, to think, you know, what they were doing at the time, you know, building up this country. The next thing I'm working on here are these wooden stars that my cousin Michael cut out for us. Um, these are a solid maple wood. Uh, they're beautiful, I think. I love this type of wood, like a hardwood. They're three quarter inch thick, and we do have these available in two different sizes on the Etsy shop. Uh, the, the largest one is, I believe, nine inches, and the smaller one, six. And here I'm applying a driftwood stain. I love this color. I don't always do this, but in this case, when I started thinking of what I wanna display on the mantle, I quickly hand drew a little sketch of what I want it to look like. You know, of course I knew I'd have my flag hanging there. I wanted a second thing with some height, so I added a mirror that I knew I had on hand. And then of course that round sign. And I added some stars. I thought that's so fitting for Independence Day. And then also some flowers or plants of some sort. Again, this was just a rough sketch, not quite sure, you know, will I actually go this route? But it kind of gave me a visual of what, how I want it to look like. 
So before fixing up the mantle, I quickly want to show you a few new items we have for the Etsy shop and then also a few of them that we have back in stock that we had sold out of. First of all, some beautiful new pillow cover designs and some of these of course are fitting for July 4th or just the summertime. I have some blue buffalo check pillows on the front porch and I'm loving them. I had gotten them years ago at Aldi I believe. So these aren't exactly the same but very similar. In fact, I almost like these better but these will be available today on the Etsy shop. And good news, we have some of those summer candles back in stock. Amy had taken some time off for her daughter's wedding, which very understandable. You may remember seeing these colored little votives that we had some great scents in for summertime, including Lily of the Valley, one of my favorites. They all smell amazing though. And then we also have that outdoor candle back in stock that is good for keeping those pesty bugs away. Um, it's a strong version of the grapefruit and mint along with some eucalyptus. It smells amazing. You could totally burn it on the inside too. For the flowers I want to display, I picked some lamb's ear and then also some multiflower roses again. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video of a few simple decorations you could incorporate into a room for the July 4th season without spending a lot of money. Always my goal. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.